Uh, what's up, guys? Um, quick video. I just stopped to get some groceries, and then I uh, I just got a vent for a minute. Um, uh, this morning was much slower than I anticipated. I guess there was uh, a lot of people that just didn't have work today or weren't flying out like usual because I started, I, t I turned the app on at 4.07 this morning. I didn't get my first trip request until 4.30 and it was a pool from uh, one of the hospitals by Michigan Avenue north of the river. And I know I... I'll get into the pool thing later, but I, I took the request because I was just wasting time on the app, not getting any trips. So I took the uh, took the request. Uh, I got the address. A whole two minutes went by, and then I canceled on them because I don't have any love for pool passengers, as you guys know. And then um, I, I a business did pick up a tiny bit after that. I still ended up making like twenty two bucks an hour this morning, which isn't awful. But I'm used to making like 35 bucks an hour on a Monday. So, um, yeah. So that happened. And uh, so I had one trip that took me from the north side all the way by to Hyde Park. Which hasn't happened in a while. So I was at Hyde Park. And anyone who knows what the deal is on the south side. I got to the south side. And then the only requests you got on the south side are pools. So... I dropped the girl off that sent me to the south side, had one small Uber X trip, and then got like four pool requests in a row, right? And I don't like doing pools, as you guys know. I think last week I maybe did three pool requests all week, and I did 111 trips, so that's really pretty good. So I did that. So I took the two, first two pool requests, or I took two of the pool requests, and one of them. It was by this one building by like 37th Street. And I just didn't know how to get to it. And the GPS was not doing me a favor. So I just, I canceled on those two passengers because they were both difficult to get to. And then I got a, another, right after I canceled them, I got an Uber Express pool request. Um, so I got the request and I go to the destination that it's called out for on the on the app, right? And I get there and I'm waiting. You know, the the, the timer's about to, I'm about to cancel on this person because the timer's going up. I get a phone call. I answer the phone. It's the person who ordered the Uber. Uh, some foreigner. I, I I don't know. Um I pick up and I uh, I'm like, "What's up?" He's like, "Hey, uh you're at the wrong address. I'm at you're on Whatever street you're at, uh, I'm not there. I'm at 29th or whatever. It's like, can you come get me? And I was like, oh. I, I gave a gasp. Or I'm just like, I gave like this, this sigh, like this disapproving sigh over the phone. I know I did. And I'm pretty sure I heard it. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll come get you. So the phone was still, the, 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 the phone call was still on because he's trying to direct me to where to get him. And I get like three blocks away. And I'm like, why did... If you're at 29th Street, why did it ping you at 32nd or 34th? Uh, yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was that that close, but I wasn't super far either. He was like, oh, because it's Express Pool and I'm supposed to meet there. And I was like, oh, then why am I coming to get you? He's like, well, you know, and I was like, no, like, why am I? This is why I fucking hate pools. The most inconsiderate and cheap pricks are the ones taking pools if you want a cheap ride you got to play by the fucking rules okay like i i hate when this this is why i can't stand doing pool trips it seems like the most ungrateful sack of people take pools the ones that want everything and they don't like he wanted me to go get him when he agreed to meet here and he still wants a cheaper rate for it. I said, no, fuck that, man. He... Oh, so fucking annoying. So I told him, I was like, you know what? You request somebody else. I'm, I'm not picking you up. And I canceled on him right there. And then I got another request right after it. It was a pool, pretty sure from the address he was at. And I'm like, nope, go fuck yourself. You're not, you're not going to ride for me. Um, 
guys, I mean, honestly, you know what? I don't know if Uber watches my videos or not. We seriously need a boycott pool. Like, we need to send a message to passengers. This shit can't fly anymore. Like, I fucking, I, I, cause as you guys know, literally, I barely ever take pull requests. And it seems like every time I do, it's a bad experience. So, I literally think as drivers, just stop taking pulls, guys. Send a message. If it's a 3X surge, yeah, take a pull. I would too. I would too. Um, but just stop taking them. Let them go. Fuck it. Let them wait. It's not. It's, this is your business. This is your money. Like, it, why? It just and that goes for Lyft too. Fuck them. No, don't take those requests. I honestly think it's better for for the market if we stopped, if we turned on every single request. Okay. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of. A, being gypped by Uber for these rides. Like, we're not making what we should be making for the pool trips. And B, I'm tired of the fucking passengers. And I know, if you're on the soft side, you probably don't have a lot of money. And I... I but you know what? Ride sharing is not a charity. I don't care what... I mean, I know it's kind of a cool thing to say. This is how we make money. And if you're going to be dealing with cheap passengers are trying to like get one over on you to save three bucks on a trip you know what no just let them go let them walk let them take the bus plan ahead take the fucking bus okay i've taken i've taken cta before to, and it made me a better man for it it toughened me up i used to drive two and a half hours each way to go from like bio hair to the south side every weekend and that fucking made me tough so uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I'm like 25 trips away from my 5,000 ride. So I'll do another, I'll do a ratings based video when, when I hit the 5k. So until then, uh, like comment, share, let's see those shares guys. And, uh, yeah, stay safe out there guys. Bye.